Hi, welcome to FemTips. Um, we're going to talk about the bang and macros. So let's start with um, bang. Bang is uh, exclamation point. So I have to get into normal mode and do bang bang. And you can see the prompt at the bottom. Type date, it inserts the date. And then I could go ahead and, and do whatever I want. Um, the bang executes a uh, command line shell and inserts the uh, the output into the vim. So if I write date, you can see that that is um, what gets inserted. So let's try a different command like ls. So if I type ls, you can see that there's my directory listing. I do bang bang ls and so you can basically, if you want to run any Unix command, and have the output inserted into your document, you can just use bang bang. Okay, so, all right, BC. BC is a Unix command. It stands for better calculator. So, because there used to be DC and I think BC is better. So, one plus two, you get three. So let's try that out. Now to handle um, the standard input, it, it just takes the current line, so I'll just say one plus two, and I'll do I'll do bang bang, BC, and it gets replaced by the output three. There's another way that you can do this. You you didn't have to use the the BC calculator from the from the uh, command line. You can actually use Control R equal. Okay, I go into insert mode, Control R equal. And you can see the equal at the bottom, and I could type uh, 3 plus 4, and that gets inserted. So you can do that without having to go in, uh, use the bang. Okay. Another useful Unix command is FMT. So what FMT does is it formats. Um, okay, so I don't have a lot of text files, so uh, I have. Let me just save this. Okay, so here's my Vim tips. Now, if I want to format this, um, this isn't very long. So, actually, let me just add some uh, text over here. Um, I should just use lorem. Okay, and then join these lines so that the formatting is off. So, if I look at this file, you can see at the bottom the formatting is really bad. Uh, well, it wraps around, and that's not what I want. So I can type FMT, well, I could pipe it to FMT, and I could specify the, um, I'll say 10, and so it formats it to 10 columns. Um, I use 10 because I don't have a lot of room here. Or 40, that's 40 columns. So you can do the same thing here. So you do bang bang FMT, and by default, I think it's 70. So if I press return, it it formats this. So this is a very quick way to format your text. The other way that you could do this, if you didn't want to use the bang bang, is GQAP. The GQ is to format the text, and AP is the motion. Um, AP standing for a paragraph. So let me go back to one line. And I'm on the, I'm on the line, and I type uh, in in normal mode, GQAP, and it formats it. So it's uh, formats it to the columns. All right. So let's use uh, uh, macros. Okay. So macros. Um, let's say, for example, that I wanted to uh, put quotation marks around this. And then at the beginning, I want to put a number. So this will be a one. And uh, actually, let me just, uh, it, this is a little bit long. So let me just, um, I'll do bang um, curly braces, close curly braces. And that gets the whole block of text, not just one line. If you do bang, bang, that's just one line. But if I do bang, uh, Curly brace, the closed curly braces that gives me the whole block of of text um, delimited by an, an empty line. 
So I want to do format, uh, let's just say 30. Okay. So this is a little bit um, easier, to, easier to handle. So the text won't wrap around when I add some text. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to put a number here, put this in quotes, and do that for all of these. So I'm going to create a macro. Let me undo. Okay, I start a macro by typing Q and followed by a letter. The letter is where it's going to be stored. So you have uh, you have 26 letters, so you have 26 places that you can store it. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to choose A. So I'm going to type Q A. And you can see at the lower left corner, it says recording. All right, so it's recording my, my keystrokes. And I go into insert mode. And actually, um, I'm going to quit out of this because uh, uh, you'll see why. For, um, okay, so I'll do the first one. Okay. And, all right, so, okay, I'll start from here. All right, so I'll, uh, Q, A, now I'm recording. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to grab that number on the top and bring it down to the bottom. So, I don't use my arrow keys, I use the H, J, K, L keys, because if you use the arrow keys, uh, they have uh, special control characters associated with it, so it'll screw up the the whole recording. So I'm, you have to use the J H J K L keys to move around. So I'm going to go to the top, and I am going to um, yank a word, go down, Shift P to paste, zero to go to the beginning. Control A is to increment, and I type W to go to the next word, I to insert, quote, escape, capital A to go to the end, insert at the end, close quote, escape, zero, J to go down. And then I press Q to stop recording. So it recorded all those moves, and now if I re replay them by doing at A, it replays it. Now I can do this uh, six times, um, actually, yeah, six times, and I type six at A, and it did it six times. I guess it missed the last one, so I'll just do at A one more time, and there you go. So this is a way to use macros.